Here is the physical setup for the inverse square law of light lab. First, of course, you are going to need a light source. You will also need a meter spec. Throughout the lab, you will make measurements at about half meter increments away from the light source. Here is the wiring setup. The most important piece is the GLX unit. which you need to power connect. If it is correctly powered, it should automatically come on. If it does not, try to reconnect or get a new GLX unit. You will, of course, need to connect the light sensor. If the GLX recognizes it, then it should change automatically to a graph form. Make sure to immediately set the light sensor to the least sensitive 0 to 10,000 unit sensitivity. And of course, you will still need to connect the GLX unit to the laptop with a USB cable. You need to be very careful in your coordination as there is a lot of dark wiring and the surrounding room is going to be very dark. The proper way of holding the light sensor is with this bottom handle, like a pistol. The light sensor is at this stubby end. You need to properly aim it towards the light during measurements and hold steady for several seconds. During measurements, you first measure out down to approximately a centimeter precision where you need to place the light sensor. Then put the meter stick to the side so as to not interfere and carefully keep aiming the sensor at the light source. Now let's set up the PESCO capstone software. When you first open it up, check again at the bottom that the light sensor has been recognized by the software. If not, you must quit the software, check all the connections, especially the power on the GLX, then restart. 
use classic templates and table and graph. For select measurements, use time and then relative intensity. In the graph, select measurements and again relative intensity. Once you are ready to make the measurements, make sure to hold the sensor steady and then press the record button. If you did it correctly, then there should be a nice, steady, high value for the relative intensity. This is the value that you need. You can either read it directly off of the graph, or if you need more precision, then just scroll around during that time interval you're interested in and check the numbers on the table. This concludes this introduction to the lab. Make sure to check out the video on the proper measurements. After you are done with all the measurements, make sure to follow the instructions how to carefully put away all equipment as to not break any wires.